This Ghana, this Ghana, this Ghana. These places in Ghana is incredible. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the location and the details about these places. Let's promote Africa and our wonderful tourism to the world. This helps the continent and our countries. Support us by subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video for your loved ones to also watch this. Thank you. Let's get started. 1. Songo Lagoon The largest natural salt mining region in Ghana, the Songo Lagoon, is within a 15-minute drive from Adan. The Songo Lagoon is a major economic force, a place of worship, and has political overtones, all of which has a significant impact on the lives of the locals. It affects everyone nearby and occasionally even enters into national politics. You can observe residents producing salt at all phases at this communal salt field. From introducing sea salt into pans to watching it crystallize after drying to cleaning, packing and loading the salt into trucks. Even though this collective labor is still being done today, changes have already been noticed. There are some large corporations operating there now, and they may eventually repress independent miners. Additionally, the absence of legal land titles contributes to tensions and challenges among miners. It's a great spot to see wintering European bears, in addition to taking a look at the salt mining operation. A few observation towers have been erected by the Wildlife Division, and it now provides tours of the area. 2. A major fair. In Ghana's mountainous whole municipal district of the Vota region, Amejofe is a town located to the north of Ho at the moment. It is situated in the recently established Ho West District Assembly. Amejofe, a mountain town, takes pride in so many natural wonders. It was involved in the Anglo Ashanti Wars of the 19th century by German missionaries. The Amejofe Training School was constructed in 1880. The oldest EP church in the Avatime traditional area, which was constructed in 1889 by Germans, is located there. The climate and the surroundings is breathtaking and cold. It's like you are in heaven. When you want to stay away from the city heat, noise, relax, and release stress, I recommend this place for you. 3. Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary The Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary was developed in 1993 as a community-based ecotourism project under the supervision of a peace corps volunteer. It is a traditional holy grove preserve. Mona and Pata's monkeys live in Tafi Atome. The monkeys, which can be found in the tropical jungle near the little community of Tafi Atome, have been treasured for the previous 200 years, since it was thought they were messengers from the gods. The village started making more extensive measures to safeguard their forest and monkey population in 1996. They also started giving visitor stores. A group of villagers, government agencies and NGOs collaborated to build a refuge. This initiative have grown the monkey's population and preserved the forest diverse bears and animal species. This place also located in Vota region of Ghana, the mountainous and breathtaking place to release stress and anxiety. This is the only place on earth where human beings and monkeys live like brothers and sisters. 4. In the greater Accra region in the Bloyu neighborhood of the Shai Osudoku district sits the Shai Hills Resource Reserve. In 1962, the region was designated as a forest reserve, initially covering 47 square meters. The area size was increased to 51 square kilometers. In 1971, it was designated as a game production reserve before being driven out by the British in 1892. The Shire people live in the protected region. 
Remains of the Shy People's construction may still be seen there. The reserve's five distinct hills are covered in a patchwork of different types of trees, while the canyons in between are home to grassland and low dry woods, green and baboon monkeys. The Manya ancestral home. The reserve's second largest hamlet and second highest hill is also located there. Sites along the 1,200 mile trail are littered with artifacts older than 150 years, providing tourists with a window into the shy people's past. Early in the morning is the ideal time to see wildlife. The cope antelope, bushback, and monkeys may be seen during the morning visit. Abite they are not habituated like in Taffy Atomi. Although the baboon tribe outside the front gate can be found, beware that these animals are hazardous and enjoy stealing your own secure personal items. The reserve is open to visitors all year round. However, traveling around can be challenging when it's raining. This is the best location for nature lovers and it has activities like camping, rock climbing, hiking, game viewing, bird watching, exploring the caves, and quad biking. 5. Baga Crocodile Pond A sacred pond in Ghana, Upper East Region, is located in the north of Ghana and is home to West African crocodiles. The pond is now dependent on tourism in order to keep the crocodile population fed and healthy because of how hospitable the reptiles have grown to be. Additionally, it is called Chief's Pond. If you have not touched or sat on a crocodile before, this is the place to be. Tell your friends and family, this is the only place on earth where humans and crocodiles live like brothers and sisters. Is it not wonderful? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. 6. Kakum National Park In Ghana's central region, along the shore, lies Kakum National Park which has a total size of 375 square kilometers, 145 square miles. It was first established in 1931 as a reserve but only became a national park in 1992 after an initial avivauna assessment was carried out. Tropical vegetation covers the entire area. This park is special since it was created on local residents' initiative not on Ghana State Department of Wildlife, which is in charge of protecting the country's wildlife. It is one of the only three places in Africa where a canopy walkway, which connects seven treetops over a distance of 350 meters, 1,450 feet, and allows access to the jungle. Nature lovers, this is the place for you, and also if you are wondering where you are going to sleep, don't worry. There are houses built on a tree. Is this not incredible? Let me hear your reaction in the comment section. 7. Nzulezu Village In the Jomoro district of Ghana's western region, 90 kilometers west of Takrade and close to the community of Benin, is Nzulezu. The neighborhood is home to more than 500 people. Nzulezu which is entirely constructed of stilts and platform, looks out over Lake Tadeni. It was proposed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000 and is a popular tourist destination. The area is becoming a more important tourist destination as visitors come to see the community and sample the local booths made there. This is insane and it looks like another planet. 8. The Snake Village is a village in Ghana's Volta region near the town of Golokwati that is home to several dangerous snake species. The village is known as Leatisoba and its residents believe that although snakes are dangerous and poisonous, it is humans who are weak, dangerous and poisonous. The snakes in the village are friendly to humans, but it depends on how you react. This is the only place on earth where snakes are loved more than humans. You should go here if you want to handle dangerous and venomous snakes for enjoyment and to snap pictures of them. The village also has anti-snake bite medication. These are the 8 wonderful places in Ghana you need to visit when you come to Ghana or Africa. If this is your first time watching my videos, 
subscribe to the channel like the video and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever i upload videos about development in africa exploring the incredible places say hi and let me know where you are watching from thanks for watching i will see you in my next video bye